Dear students, how are you? I hope that all of you are fine. Welcome you all to my class. Dear students, in first, first slide you can see my identity. I am Muhammad Ismail Hussain. I have come from Government Jubilee High School, Shunamganj, and I teach English in there. Today I have brought this class for the student of class 6. Yes, dear student, in the first slide, in this slide, you can see some pictures. Can you see? Uh, can you tell me what is the picture about? Look at the picture and guess what are they doing in the picture. What do they do in the picture? Yes, they are selling and buying something. Yes, they are marketing. So they are shopping. They are shopping, right. So to our today's topic is grocery shopping. Our today's topic is grocery shopping. In your textbook, there is a there is a uh, topic named grocery shopping. It's in your lesson eight. Okay, the student, and this picture is known to you because this picture is taken from your textbook, isn't it? So what are we going to learn today? After this lesson, I hope that all of you will be able to use word stress of words in sentence, participate in short dialogue and conversation on familiar topics, and then read and understand the text. These are the ask and answer question. These are my learning outcomes of this lesson. Okay, use some in any in a sentence. You'll, you will be able to use some or any of these words correctly in your sentences. So let's see. I'm going to show you some pictures. Can you tell the name? What can you see in first picture? Binjal. Then what is it? Cucumber. And then carrots. Isn't it? So, dear student, look at the picture of vegetable below and say their name. And wh what can you see in first picture? Beans. Yes, then cauliflower, then cauliflower, and then onion. Yes. So, imagine you are a shopkeeper. What will you ask to your customer about below? Uh, item quick uh, quantity about below items quantity using much or how many how much or how many one is done for you suppose uh, someone have come here to buy some potty uh, some pants what will you ask how many pen do you want because pen is pants are countable pen is countable that's why you will use how many how many is used for countable now that we can count and how much carrots do you want yes carrots we don't count that's why uh, we'll ask how much carrots do you want okay in this way you will ask about eggs okay so what will you say how many or how much egg do you want Yes, how many eggs do you want? How many eggs do you want? Because eggs are also countable, counted. Okay, then milk. Will you ask how many? No, how much milk do you want? Because milk is not so countable. Okay, then what about potatoes? Yes, potatoes. Uh, how much potatoes do you want? Because these are not also count. Then how much? How much is uh, how much uses for uncountable noun? Uncountable nouns that we can count. Suppose such as water, milk, sugar, well, gold, etc. Okay, and if, uh, in this case, the structure of question is in this way: how much plus noun plus auxiliary verb plus subject, then main verb, then extension. Okay. Uh, the example is here, how much sugar do you want? How much sugar do you want? And about how many? How many is used for uncountable uh, noun? Countable noun, that's we can count. Okay, such as pen, book, egg, 
chair, table, etc. Okay, let's see the structure. How many plus noun plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb plus extension. Okay, how many pen do you want? How many pen do you want? The student, go to the section B and read the dialogue. Then discuss the question in pair that have given in section B1. Listen to and read the dialogue below. Salman, hello, how can I help you? A uh, salesman, sorry, salesman, how can I help you? Imran, I, uh, do I have any bins? Salesman, says, yes, we do. How many would you need, would you like? How many, uh, how much would you like? Yes, bins. So how much would you like? Imran, I would like half kg. And I will also need one kg of tomatoes, two kg of potatoes, two cauliflowers, a dozen of eggs and some salts. Saltsman, do you need any well, sir? Imran, yes, I need a liter of well. Saltsman, do you need any, anything else? Imran, um, let me check. Look at the list. Oh, yes, I could have some sugar and milk. Salesman, sure. How much milk do you want? How much milk do you want? Imran, just one liter and one kg of sugar, please. Salesman. Okay, let me find all items for you. Imran, thanks. Please put them in a paper bag or jute bag. Salesman, sure. We don't use plastic bags here. Here, uh, here, you, uh, here you go. I have put all these items here. Imran, thank you. How much is, is the total? How much is the total? Salesman, the total comes to take out 535. How much? 535. Imran, here is 550. Salesman, thank you. Here is your changes. Where is your change? 15 taka. Have a good day. Imran. Thanks. Bye. This was the dialogue. Now dear student. There, um, there are some questions for you. Okay. You have to answer them. How many items did Imran buy? How many items did Imran buy? Can you? Yes. You can read this once again. And... Then, then you can find how many items Imran bought. Okay, how um, he need beans, then tomatoes, potatoes, cauliflowers, well, uh, oil, salt, eggs. Then, so in this way you will count how many items then you will talk with your friends or brother sister or family members okay what varieties of vegetables were available in the market what varieties different varieties of vegetables were found you have to read the text again and find that the answer why do you think imran asked the salesman to use paper bag discuss with your uh, close friend and then write down why? Yes, paper bag is needed because he has to carry the and carry that. Okay, he has to carry all the things to her, his home. That's why he need a paper bag. Thank you. Here is a change. What does change means? Change means because he paid much <coughs> than the cost of the total items. That's why total price. That's why he gets something back. And this is the back money is the changes. <coughs> okay. Just, uh, this is another picture of shopping. You can make, uh, see the picture and make, try to make a short dialogue. Suppose let's, uh, let, let us see was dialogue is available here a conversation see 
Excuse me. B. Yes. How can I help you? I want to buy a pen. B. Sure. There you go. How much is it? Uh, 10 taka only. Then here you are. Thank you. Okay, in this way, uh, we frequently, we frequently do such dialogue at the shop. Isn't it? That's why we have to practice this kind of dialogue again and again. Now, dear student, in your textbook, you can find such a uh, bubble. This, uh, in the bubble, you can, speech bubble, and you can find some speeches, but they are in jumble order. You have to arrange them. Okay, in section B, in section B2, you can find these bubbles, speech bubbles. You have to rearrange them in correct order. Okay, which, uh, word, uh, which speech will come first, okay? So, let's read first. I want to buy an, buy an ice cream. Yes, how can I help you? How much is it? 20 taka. Here you are. Thank you. Excuse me. Sure, uh, sure there you go. Okay, these are in jumble order. That does not, I mean, um, makes the conversation clear. But you have to think which one will come first and then the, uh, then you will arrange them rearrange them so i know, we know that we have seen in last conversation excuse me was first isn't it to draw someone's attention we use excuse me so excuse me will be first okay <coughs> i have arranged this <coughs> for you you can check your answer with me here the arrangement the girl excuse me the salesman yes how can i help you the girl then said, I want to buy an ice cream. The salesman, sure. There you go. There you go. The girl, how much is it? The salesman, 20 taka. Okay. The girl, here you are. Salesman, thank you. Okay. In this way, the dialogue has been finished. However, this student, very frequently, we go to the, uh, we go to go on shopping. And we need to speak with the uh, shopkeeper. That's why this kind of practical thing we should practice <coughs> regularly for our betterment. If you can practice this <coughs> properly, then you can do <coughs> well. And it will improve your speaking skill. And speaking skill is very much important <coughs> for language learning. Sorry. So I have brought a homework for you. Make an imaginary shopping list with a quantity of <coughs> grocers, bakers and <coughs> stationers. Okay. This is your homework and no more today. Wish you all good luck. Thank you very much.